Oh, I forgot. I'll do it, yeah. Now, something else I forgot to mention was the one rain stop. Somewhere along the line, the last 10 years, it's been lost or changed or whatever. And what you gotta know is that when you disengage the hindquarter, a horse can't run, buck, or anything because their hind legs cross. The front feet cannot go 20 feet down the trail while you're doing it. Okay, when I teach a horse now, I used to do it like everybody. I'd hold on to my belt and wait till they stop moving. Well, what I've learned is that you can take and give and do a one rein stop and the horse will get flexed at the same time without pushing on the hackamore or the snaffle. So I'm gonna walk around here and then show you. So this is me gonna do a one rein stop. I bump, and I shut the horse down. You see where the front feet are? Now watch how much slack is in my rein. And I wait. Now I can exhale and the horse will stop. That's what a one rein stop should look like. Now walk, jog, or trot, that's the way it's done. A lope, if you try that, you'll fold them up like a lawn chair. You'll end up with one of these turtle masks. So here's the right. I bump, lean, shut the horse down. Don't allow the front feet to leave. Anything this horse does that I don't like, that's what it gets, okay? If it got it with the rope solid, it would start to focus on the rope and just lean on it and get heavy on the forehand, which is the opposite of what I want. That's why I give the rope. To me, that is the correct way to do a one rein stop. Now, for my friend Ryan, you don't ride a hackamore like this. You ride a hackamore like this. If you get the eye and want to turn, you teach your horse to turn and listen to your body. A snaffle bit you would lead him around or a halter you would lead him around. Because I'm gonna be closing to, to one hand when this is over, so I've gotta keep my hands coming in close. All I'm doing is watching these big ears on this horse to see if he actually checks in. Now I'm going to let the steer go by and see if the horse looks. It's more worried about the neighbors until it was almost gone. So that tells you where you're at on this Iberian amazing cow work and genetics. That's where we're at. Now I'm going to stop the calf. Pressure the calf. I'll ride away and I can stop the calf. Now I've lost my horse because he's worried about everything, so I'm going to shut him down. Tell him to check in. You need to listen to me. Don't worry about what's going on. Now, there's something else I forgot, and that's about Nikki. Nikki from Africa sent me an email, and she wanted to know the three positions of the hands. This works on the snaffle of the hackamore. Position one is when there's no bend in your elbow and you're schooling a colt and you back them up, that's how you get the nose. Position two is for these vertebrae. You're up here by the saddle horn and you back them up, then you start to get collection. Position three is if you're riding some downhill dock bar triple lot quarter horse 
then you got to put your arms out with no bend and back them up and it'll break them at the withers right there that's the three positions so I hope that works for you Nikki now one more time and then I'm done with the calf right hip movement step back step over step back step over pressure release now I'm gonna watch these ears there that's it that's as good as it gets today I've got 25% of my horse because we just that's what I've got there's all kinds of stories why but it doesn't matter I'm just telling you that's how much I got here so it's like I always say you can't train them but you can outlast them so please remember that you can if you know how to breathe from your core and control the muscles in your back you can stop a horse now if you've got some 12 year old cold jaw dead side of dink it's a runaway please don't try this because you'll turn blue you have to have kind of what we call a foundation on them. Thank you.